Welcome back to Cooking with Gus. We have a special guest with us. Lion the Gus. Gus. <laughs> Gussie, hey. <laughs> Gus didn't like his Halloween costume, but that's okay. Maybe he'll come back. But in honor of Halloween, we are making pumpkin donuts with a glaze. And the first thing we're gonna do is set our oven to 350, and then we're gonna, you know, oil our special pan, put our ingredients are butter, brown sugar, we got some salt, a little bit, you know. Uh, we got flour, baking powder, pumpkin, almond milk, and pumpkin pie spice. So they're healthy donuts. Okay, so we're gonna work on the batter. So we're gonna get our dry ingredients. So one and a quarter cup of whole wheat flour. In you go. Half a cup of brown sugar. A pinch of salt. Three quarters of a teaspoon of pumpkin spot pie spice. We're just gonna eyeball it. Spices are good flavor, by the way. Okay. And then one teaspoon of baking powder. I got a half a teaspoon here, so we're gonna do two. One. Two. And we're just gonna mix it up, and then we're gonna add the wet. and we have a half a cup of almond milk, a quarter cup of pumpkin puree, mm. and then two and a half tablespoons of melted butter. Butter spreads the love. Okay. So the reason we're doing it in here is we want to mix it up and then we're going to fold it into our dry. So let's get started with our wet. So the butter is going to go in. Pumpkin puree is going in. We get all that good stuff. That's where our flavor is coming from. And we're gonna just mix it up. And we're gonna fold it in. Don't fold too much. That's what my wife says, otherwise it's gonna get overworked. Slow and steady wins the race. So we got our batter done, and this is what it's gonna look like. Combined, kind of thick. So now we're gonna fill our special donut dish one at a time. I wanna make sure to combine them. See right there, combine, combine, there you go. You can touch them up at the end. The batter should only make six. One more scoop. That's the ideal one, but we're gonna get that one to look like that.
So my wife beautifully touched them up and made them look awesome. So we're gonna put them in on your top shelf between 10 to 11 minutes, but we're gonna do 10 minutes. And we're gonna work on our peanut butter glaze. Mmm, that's what Gussie's thinking. Mmm. Gus is anticipating some peanut butter coming his way. So for our icing, we're gonna do a half a tablespoon of each of these ingredients. Almond milk, peanut butter, and maple syrup. Let's get started. About a half a tablespoon. In you go. We got a clean spoon, not the one that got flicked. And we're gonna just mix and combine the ingredients. Okay, mix a little bit. Now we're going to microwave it until everything is melted and then we can better mix it. Okay, so we microwaved it for about five seconds. We're gonna mix it up. Again, this smooth consistency. And we're just gonna set it aside until our donuts are ready. <laughs> Normal Gus! We got normal Gus back. So it's been 10 and a half minutes, 11 minutes. Now we're gonna check on our donuts. What we wanna see is the donuts springing back and that's what we're getting. Just in case we can do the toothpick test, poked in, nothing comes back. So that's how you know it's done. If they, um, if they don't spring back or you do see some raw donut coming back, some of the batter, just put it in, stick it in there for a little more, uh, like a couple more minutes, two to three. But we're gonna let them sit cool for like three to five minutes and then we're gonna put our icing on it and enjoy the good stuff. <laughs> It's always Twister when you're cooking in this kitchen with Gus. <laughs> okay, so we got our donuts out of our special pan. Had to use a little scraping technique. Not scratching the pan, but just separating the dough, well the donut, from the pan. We let them cool for a little bit. And now we're gonna put our batter, or no, put our glaze on our donuts. We're gonna do some fun. Okay, we're gonna do a little drizzle. 
Oh god. <laughs> it's really big on one side. Oh man, this is interesting. Oh man. Well, I'm not a pastry chef as all of you all <laughs> Not a pastry chef, as you know, but I try my best in these videos. My wife's the real, the real one here. Now it's time to dry one. I'm gonna get one of the purdy ones over there. Look at that. Dip it in that excess glaze. Mm. Halloween. Mm. Thank you for coming around one to you. This is good. And I don't even like sweets. The peanut butter and pumpkin are well done. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next time on Cooking with Gus for another Halloween episode. And maybe Gus will be dressed up in a new Halloween themed costume. Ooh.